Welcome back. The 2015 Africa Union Summit concluded recently in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. Now, the theme of the summit was the year of women's empowerment and development in Africa, but the African leaders also discussed the Ebola crisis in West Africa, the proposed continental force to combat uh, the Boko Haram militants in West Africa, and the role the AU should play in elections across Africa this year. The state of continental rapid reaction forces to preemptively stem violence and AU's historical problems of financing itself were also discussed. Well, for more on what happened at the summit, I'm joined by VOA Zimbabwe service reporter, Sandra Yaira, who just returned from covering the summit in Addis Ababa. Sandra, welcome back. Uh, thank you, Hope Vincent. you recovered from the jet lag. I'm still recovering. I had a good time, <laughs> but, you know, a lot yeah. of issues were discussed yeah. that, you know, touch the critical issues are concerning our continent. Exactly. And for, I think for a long time, the continental body was discussing the issue of empowerment of women. Mm -hmm. Now, from what you can remember, uh, very specifically, uh, what did the leaders identify as the issues that put the woman down in Africa? Uh, mostly, uh, one of the biggest issues that they came up uh, with is uh, taking women down most of the time is um, lack of resources in terms of empowering women, mm -hmm. that women do want to be empowered, but they don't have money. Uh, we tend as women uh, throughout, whether we're in the newsrooms, whether we're at home, whether we're in schools, to take the lead from men, regardless of the numbers, uh, mm -hmm. that there are more women in Africa than men. Uh, so um, the main issue that they looked at and agreed on was to you know, look for resources and, to fund women and, and it, their activities. It, it, Good that they were discussing this mm -hmm. at the time when a woman, uh, Gosazana Dlamini Zuma, mm -hmm. is the chairperson of the Africa Union Commission. Mm -hmm. Now, besides just identifying the issues, what did they say they're going to do practically to elevate uh, the, the woman in Africa? A credit to uh, Madam Kosasana Lamini Zuma. She has been working very hard uh, in terms of wanting to see African women being uplifted. She says most um, of the women in Africa face problems that she was luckily not uh, to face, you know, on, in, in when she was, you know, going going up the ladder to where she is now. But mostly they are looking at women at the district level, at the you know local level, parliamentary, the council level. What does it take to make sure that we have as many women as possible? And being prepared, being mature enough, not only in dealing with the issues, but politically mature, being of some, a sound mind, having, you know, mentors who they look up to. Where, you know, there are so many women, you know, not, not a huge number of men, but there are the women that you can look up to and say they've done well. What can you learn from them in terms mm -hmm. of, you know, in their leadership? What can you also learn from what is happening in your own situation, yeah. uh, in your home, in your area, in your, you know, in your community? Uh, so they are taking this thing seriously, and I must say, from what I saw, Africa is serious uh, about empowering women. Yeah. Africa is going, you know, to the next phase in terms of, you know, development and, and the benchmark, you know, that they are looking at the women and the youth as the greatest asset that the African Union has. And uh, very quickly, because there was a whole laundry list of issues, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of effectiveness, uh, mm -hmm. did the issue come from the leadership itself uh, in terms of the accusations against the AU that mm -hmm. uh, they talk too much, mm -hmm. they do very little? Um, yes, you do have some within the AU saying that, you know, there is need for them to walk the talk. And from what I saw and having covered the African Union over the years, uh, be it, you know, the SADC, the African Union and all other regional and in continental uh, bodies that we have, I think this time around they are serious. I think having a woman at the helm, uh, Madam Kosasa Nathamini Zuma wants to leave a mark. Uh, she wants uh, people to see that, you know what, having, being a woman should not be a hindrance to making sure that there is development and progress in Africa. And I bet you are going to see more of and their colleagues in terms of pushing That's the right. African thank agenda. You. So those men, they need a woman there they do. to change things. <laughs> hey, Sandra, do. thank you very much uh, for coming back and uh, sharing with us uh, all that happened at the African Union. Thank you for having when me. Well, Sandra Nyaira is a reporter with uh, VOA's Zimbabwe Service.